One of the things that I talk to kids about in schools a lot is where do writers get ideas. Um, at my presentation many times is called What Makes a Writer? Readers make writers and writers are someone who keep looking, who listen. Uh, I was recently in a school in Washington State and after I left the um, teacher told me that the uh, fourth graders had all decided to um, go and do historical fiction based on buildings in their community. Um, so I think of um, a writer as someone who has their antenna up. You're always looking for ideas for stories. It might be something you see in the newspaper, um, it might be something you hear on the radio, it might be something you experience. And um, I always keep, keep my eyes and ears open that way. Um, but what I choose to write about sometimes um, doesn't always end up in a book. And that's another thing that I think it's important for young readers and young writers to know. That writers, it's a process and I don't magically um, have one idea and then it becomes a best-selling book. Um, I have lots of rejections just and I have lots of editors um, that help me make my work better and I think it's important for for young readers to do that. So I try, I try to find stories where there's um, a child protagonist, there's something interesting um, that it might fit in with what um, teachers and librarians are studying in school um, and also something that fascinates me because um, that's what makes it fun to research. Uh, a question I ask students a lot in classrooms is how do you do your research? And it's very interesting. It doesn't really matter um, how what grade it is or where I am in the country. Um, people will say the computer, dictionaries, libraries, but I have to really elicit an answer of seeing it, going someplace and seeing it with your own eyes. And that's something that I try to focus on.